Are electric cars safer than internal combustion engine cars? Well, if you're watching this channel, you very likely know that they are, that pretty much every EV that is the safest, the safest EVs tested in Euro NCAP, in Australian NCAP testing, in Chinese testing, all around the world, the top 10 cars that have been, the, the safest tested vehicles are all EVs. None of them are internal combustion cars. But across a wide spectrum of cars, are EVs actually safer than internal combustion? Well, here's what the data says. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to jump on board and become a, a member of the channel, I do have some member-only videos, and in particular, one that I've just filmed about my personal top 10 best things to live as long as possible and to get the most out of your day. And basically, I'm showing with you what I'm doing on a daily basis. EVs, are they safer than internal combustion cars? Well, a crash safety body, in fact, the Australian government's crash safety body, and this is in connection with Europe's testing as well, says yes, they are. Statistically, EVs are safer than internal combustion. And this testing does involve some crappy EVs that um, don't have the best testing and some great EVs that do. That, you know, um, Basically, what I'm saying is that modern EVs in 2025, they're all actually ph ph phenomenal. However, this test did involve some older EVs that weren't as good and kind of makes the study, to be honest, probably skewed more towards internal combustion in its favor, if anything. So if you're on the fence about your new car, well, here's the thing. If you want the safest car you can get, you've got to buy an EV, it's just that simple. ANCAP, the Australasian New Car Assessment Program, which is incredibly stringent, have been, well, testing cars to figure out what's, what's safer, EVs or internal combustion. Armed with data from their own crash tests, ANCAP have said, yes, EVs score higher on crash tests than internal combustion engine vehicles, but, they say that it is proportionally higher, whatever that means. There are 57 electric cars that have been tested by ANCAP and only six of those 57 didn't get the maximum score. With internal combustion, there was 117 internal combustion cars tested with 18 failing to get the full score. It doesn't really tell you the full story though because the reality is here that the average score of an EV for all its safety parameters was better than the average score of an internal combustion engine car. In fact, significantly better. Statistically, there are more five-star EVs than five-star internal combustion engine cars that have been tested. Around 89% versus 85%. Now, there are internal combustion apologists that have seen this test and they're trying to come up with excuses. They're saying, well, EV, brand, EV models are newer than internal combustion models. Guys, these were tests of new cars. They're, all of them were new. All of them were the current models on the market at the same time. So coming up with an excuse and saying, oh, but these EV models are newer, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because they're all the new models from every brand, yeah? Just because Japanese manufacturers and, um, to be honest, European ones uh, still have uh, car internal combustion cars that are pretty dated and pretty old, that's not the fault of EV brands. It's not the fault of anyone. It's their own fault. And consumers will have to pay the price if they don't actually do their research and discover that those cars are, old school, really, to be honest, they are. And on the channel, guys, I've had several videos showing you um, many cars that have failed. You, crash test safety scores, they have gotten three stars out of five, even from premium brands, even from BMW. This is, in my opinion, is insane that people would buy these cars when they have so many choices, and they still do. Here are some of the cars that um, did really badly. Mahindra Scorpio, that's from India, and MG5. Both of them got zero out of five stars. In other words, crazy, they completely failed. The Suzuki, the Suzuki Swift got one star out of five. Um, then you've got uh, three star cars, which is a massive fail as well. Three out of five, which is the Hyundai i30 sedan, the MG3, the Jeep Gladiator, and the Jeep Wrangler. And I believe the Ford Mustang got three as well a couple of years back. So really those cars are ones that you can avoid. I mean, why would you buy them? You've got many other choices. Now, there is no zero, one, two, uh, or even three-star EVs available on the market. None of them, not a single one. The lowest you can get is a four-star car. So what gets four stars? Well, the BMW i4 gets four, the Hyundai Kona Electric four, the Fiat 500e, the Opel Mokka, and the Citroen C4. Um, guys, I honestly don't really understand why you would buy any of those cars, particularly the BMW i4. BMW i4 
it's actually not a bad car. But honestly, if it's a four-star car and you're paying, what, $80,000, $90,000 for it, it doesn't really make sense because there's other cars that are five stars that are cheaper. You probably don't, a lot of people probably think to themselves, I don't care about that, four stars, five stars, but you're going to care when you get involved in a crash and you can't avoid all crashes. Sometimes people hit you. The only three-star EV you can buy is the Jeep Avenger here in Australia, the Jeep Avenger, and that's a brand new car. Brand new car, it's three stars. What a joke. I mean, Jeep, come on. A Stellantis, they've lost the plot. It's insane. It's not cheap either. Anyhow, ANCAP's Chief Executive Officer, Carla Hulweg, said that the disparity between EVs and ICE um, is clear. She said that EVs are often more expensive, and this was their comment. It just doesn't make sense to sell a low-scoring electric car. I would say there's probably a factor of play there where basically the ANCAP director is saying the only reason EVs are getting a better score here, better safety scores, is because they're more expensive. That's completely fake. And I think she should retract this ridiculous, absolutely ludicrous comment because it's not true. It's factually completely wrong. BWD Dolphin, five stars. It's it's basically the cheapest car of its size in the market, $29,000. Uh, that's a five-star car. That's Australian dollars, by the way, Americans. So that's about 18,000 US dollars for the BWD, the cheapest version of the Dolphin. MG4, Great Wall Motors, Aura. They're, they're all five stars and they're all like absolute bargain prices. They're all like 17, 18,000 US dollars for the base models and they're five stars, right? There's plenty of models now that are basically on par, whether that's EVs with internal combustion, similar sized SUVs, basically the same price, and they're getting five stars. It's got nothing to do with price. Price is completely irrelevant. Um, for example, here's the point, right? The Jeep Avenger, the, the only EV to get three stars. Is it cheap? No, it's not. It's like $50,000. Price is not the key factor here. The key factor is EVs are inherently safer. Many EVs now use structural battery packs and they use, like my EV, the XPG6, the Tesla Model Y, they use gigacasting. And having a, a large structural piece makes the car more rigid, it makes it safer in a crash, and having a structural battery pack is also going to immensely help with side impact tests. Side impact crashes, the most common ones where you're going to die, those are the ones that you're going to prevent from, from being ca catastrophic with an EV. In China, and many people won't buy an EV that doesn't have a structural battery pack. They're well aware of the advantages. So it's worth, it's worth pointing that out. The key issue here is this. If you want a safer car, you've got no choice. You've got to buy an electric car. The safest, te the safest vehicle I believe tested last year in Europe, I believe it was the Zika X. Uh, that is you know, a Chinese electric car built on the same production line as the Volvo EX30. But then you've got a host of Chinese EVs that have been tested in Europe, and they're all like top 20, top 20 Teslas, top 10, top five. Um, so really, the facts are the facts. EVs are simply safer, and that is true everywhere. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.